us. It has been a violent few days in the Tampa Bay area. One local church elder tonight is calling for an end to shootings after he found himself in the middle of flying bullets. As the 8 on your side's Trevor Sahaki reports, if he hadn't acted quickly, the situation might have ended much worse. 16. That's how many bullets flew into Lee Bryant's home last night, including this one right here. It was right above he and his wife's heads while they were in bed last night. Lee Bryant had just turned off the Florida State game. He and his wife, Catherine, were settling in for the night. Bullets began to ring out through this window, striking this window, and ended up hitting this far wall. That bullet hit a piece of the window blind and smacked his wife in the face. Thankfully, the only injury that night. Uh, and I must be very honest with you, after that uh, incident, and I found out she was okay, anger. Um, anger and rage because uh, someone would have the audacity to come up to a residence and just uh, blatantly start firing at innocent people. The local church elder lives in the Progress Village neighborhood, a name he feels the area might not deserve. Most of the people that are on this block have worked their whole entire lives. They're pretty much retirees or uh, people on the verge of retirement. It's been a quiet street for the most part. But Bryant says it's seen multiple shootings recently. All our neighbors, we get along. The kids come out and they say, hey, Mr. Lee, how you doing? We got grandkids, great grandkids. He fears for those kids innocently playing in the yard. I was just shocked that I had one bullet shot at my house. Um, but to see the number of shots that was fired at this home um, is, I'm still floored. I cannot believe it. During a violent week in the Tampa Bay, Bryant wants people to pause before pulling the trigger. You're not just shooting just to be shooting, but you're shooting at someone's grandmother. You're shooting at someone's father. You're shooting at someone's kid. Again, thankfully, no one was seriously injured in this shooting, but Lee is still asking the city and the sheriff to increase patrols in this area to hopefully discourage these kind of random shootings in the future. And while we've been here in the neighborhood, we have seen a couple patrols up and around. Hopefully, that's enough to keep things safe for now. In Tampa, Trevor Sahaki, 8 on your side. Now,